Is this your daily driver? Yeah, in the summertime. Already? Yeah. So 19 what? What year is it? 26. And then uh, you find it uh, original like this, or you restore it? Or what? Oh, I know restored. It was in a bar and completely taken apart. So I, uh, I hold it home, and I did it about ten years ago. But how uh, long it took you? Uh, three years. Yeah. How much money? <laughs> you better mind asking. I've got about fourteen thousand invested in it. Oh, really? Not yeah. that much. No. It's pretty valuable, huh? Yeah. No. No? Nah. It's probably worth twelve to fourteen. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, you I enjoy uh, it. That's what that's, that's what counts. Yeah. <laughs> I thought they had to pick up on his 26. 25 is the first year. 25. Okay, yeah. yeah. They made them 25, 26, 27. Yeah. Uh, so, this, so what's the horsepower in this? It it came from the factory with uh, 20. I got it up to 40 now. Wow. So. Yeah. <laughs> It'll climb a hill now. Before I couldn't get up the hill with it. So. So you can take it up now? Yeah. I and I put a Rustel two-speed axle in it. So uh, I have a second gear now, so. It, it, oh, you changed it. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, that was a dealer option. Was it? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, starting in about uh, in the early 20s, um, when you'd order these things, the dealer would put that in before you left showroom. Henry Ford said it was the only thing worthwhile putting in a Model D was a rock. He didn't like that, but uh, it helps a lot, because right. it's a 50% split. Second gear for high gear. What's that? You got it up to 40 horsepower? Yeah, I, I put a um, put a high compression head on it. I changed the camshaft to put a 1919 intake manifold and a 25 carburetor. And we add all those together from 20 to 40. So it's close to the horsepower in the Model A now. Pretty similar to an A. So uh, I can keep up with the A's. Question for the